and today I'm going to be taking a look at the 2002 Action Man Mortar Combat. Mortar Combat is what it reminds me of. So let's take a close look and see what it actually comes with. We're going to take a look at the mortar itself. So we have this here, which is the mortar shell, and in the bottom it has a small press button, and when you press it, it springs up. So the idea is, is you close it up and you slide it in. Whoop, but you have to press it in with quite some force sometimes and it pings out and it does go a reasonable distance too and since we've lost it, uh, here it is so that's great, you normally get two in the set but unfortunately I've only got one they do store into the side down here nicely and then it's got the, like, the resting plate it reminds me of the vintage Mortar Action Man 1 but that came on a big plate that you could actually rotate and tilt it up and down a little bit more then it's got the retractable legs both independent and then also you can fold this in half like so so he can put his hand in there and he can carry it around as one big unit so all in all I really like that great play function and I think it looks really nice let's have a closer look at the figure okay to start off with we'll look at the rifle it's one of the rifles we have seen before this one is molded in black and I should point out that it comes with a ammo clip here we go I have a green one and that does come out like so but unfortunately because they do come out you do lose them so I have got grey I've got green but I don't have any black at the moment so all in all it's a nice solid gun it shouldn't get too bent sometimes the ends can get a bit chewed up it's got a nice detail on the muzzle but all in all a very good gun holds it fantastic and also it does have somewhere where you can attach the under barrel launcher if you have a spare one of those knocking about as well now let's move on to the figure himself he does come with a green hat which is rubber rather than a soft goods in the green camo that just pops off and then we get this uh, like jacket web gear and it has a pouch for attaching the pistol and it's just the grey pistol the action man pistol we've seen many times before that slots in nicely the camo does look a little bit weird on this I'm not sure why whether it's been speckled or what I just think it looks a little bit cheap it doesn't seem to fit in with the rest of the uh, outfit but all in all the molding on it's fantastic it's got like a two water canteens and then lots of pouches and things on the back and there is like something on the back there I'm not sure what that's for it's nothing included in this set but it does look like it was an additional function on something else but it's even got really fine rubber detailing down here for like ties so all in all looks really really nice then we've got the head on this one, it's a version 4 head, I believe, uh, and this one's got the flock tear, and the articulation is just the side to side swivel all the way around, but this one does come with a moulded black t-shirt. They also did another version which came with a moulded grey t-shirt, so you can either have the grey or the black version, and then it has the bicep swivel there, which is nicely hidden at the t-shirt cut. And then we have the elbows, this one's a really stiff figure. And then we have black gloves instead of the hands. Then we go down to the pants, we've got green camo pants. Again, I mentioned I don't think they, they tie in too well up there. And then we've got the big dob off boots, which I was never too keen on when they switched to these ones. They just look too large and too bulky. <clears throat> Make them look a little bit too cartoony rather than realistic. But all in all, I think this is a really nice figure. It's good to go back to some green, well, actual camo and military gear. And again, this one, I don't know how they managed to get this one by as being a weapon because they were trying to cut back on it at this time. But it's a really nice, fun play feature. So that was the 2002 Action Man Mortar Combat set. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Raw Pain reviews.